In 1901, corroded bronze relics were found in a shipwreck discovered off the island of Antikythera near Greece. For years, the significance of the find went unnoticed until 1959, when Dr. Derek DeSola Price of Yale University published a paper in Scientific American. At first, the three pieces of corroded bronze seem unremarkable, except for a similarity to modern clockwork. As for its purpose, archaeologists were as mystified as the sponge divers who discovered it. Gear teeth around the large main plate are plainly visible, even through the corrosion. At first, it was thought to be some sort of astrolab. Years of research, however, would reveal a far more complicated device. X-ray photographs reveal sliding circular plates marked with scales of measurement. Scientists have dated the construction of the mechanism to around 87 BC. The shipwreck occurred circa 76 BC. Closer examination by Price revealed it to be a complicated mechanical device comprised of 32 gears, including a differential gear, technology thought not to have existed before 13th century Europe. The mechanism, as it originally appeared, was set in a wooden rectangular box slightly larger than an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. A cover was hinged to the front and back, and a handle on the side turned the gearworks. Directions were inscribed on every available surface. Inside the front cover, fixed on top the main driving gear wheel, is a single large circular dial with two scales. A fixed scale names the signs of the zodiac, and a second movable slip ring shows the months of the year. Here we can see a view of the gearing system from the front. The handle that turned the gears is on the top right. The large main gear, shown here in red, turned in a clockwise direction. On the back are two dials. The top dial has four slip rings and is thought to have indicated the positions and the times of the rising and setting of the five planets known to the Greeks. The lower dial has three slip rings and seems to indicate lunar phases as well as the times when the moon rises and sets. There is also a smaller subsidiary dial comparable to the second style of an analog stopwatch. When the handle was turned, all 32 gears, including the differential gear, moved. Arms, like those of a modern clock, would revolve as well as the eight slip rings. Once the operator set the position of the sun or the moon, the Antikythera mechanism would automatically adjust all the dials, providing solar, lunar, and planetary data for the corresponding time indicated by the user. The mechanism is thought to have been accurate to one part in 40,000. If not lost to the Dark Ages, such a device, had it been applied to other technological areas, could have accelerated the pace of human invention more than 1,000 years ahead of where we are today.